Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. And I have a few uh, quests left. Uh, so I have to win two games with Shaman or Warlock and uh, play 30 minions or six more that cost two or less. That means I'll be able to get to 500 gold. And I've already earned one card back from the Tavern Brawl. So we'll try and finish the quest in the Tavern Brawl here. It's a pretty random one. But let's take a look. Uh, an encounter at the crossroads under a mana storm. Choose a class, get random cards. Each turn your cards costs are randomized. So it's it's as random as it gets, I think. Uh, but let's choose right here. And I'll go for Shaman. Uh, I've not done the brawl with Shaman yet. So let's check it out. Let's find an opponent. And the, the better tactic that I've found so far seems to be just keep as big... Uh, of a, a minion hand as you can early on because you'll probably be able to drop them so yeah let's uh, see it takes a little bit of time here to actually find a worthy opponent there we go Roll versus Valera. watch your back for Doomhammer. Okay, so it's against uh, a rogue. Uh, Lava shock deal two damage, unlock. That's not bad, but I'm I'm gonna dig. These are not bad. Uh, early drops this totem. Hmm. Uh, it's okay to keep going, but usually I don't think these games last too long because you 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 notice straight away when someone's uh, like gotten a few legendaries in their hand early on. And does that one change to one? Nope. So this is a tree. Okay, I got no choice. I'll come out with this uh, totem. And uh, we'll see what our rogue friend can drop. Uh, this as a tool drop would be pretty good. Wind speaker would be pretty useless. And then we've got Dune Maul Shaman as well. But you, I've seen some crazy uh, situations there, like a uh, four drop Ragnaros and stuff like that. Feed the fish, land lover. Okay, that's all right. And I could do the bloodlust, but look at that, two drop silver hand knight. Ready, sir. That is definitely not bad. Basically, a six six uh, dropped right here for two mana. And if I could use the wind speaker next. Or even the Dune Maul Shaman, not bad. Uh, and this is going to give me 9 extra damage. So out comes a coin. Let's hope it's nothing too big. Alright, it's actually a knife, so he's gonna go after the totem. I think. Alright, that's not bad. Of course, a Dark Iron Skulker for 1 mana is uh, pretty damn good. And now the totem is taken out. So yeah, there you go. Luckily, I can do a bit of a comeback as well. So here comes the ogre. And the wind speaker as well. And there we go. I mean, this this is what the tavern brawl is all about. Get that, get that board presence. Uh, unfortunately, I had to use up all my cards for this. So the rogue is definitely at an advantage. Now let's see what's, what trades he decides to do. But he can easily clear the board from this. Um, it will cost him a lot of minions though. So let's see how he does. But you should run that in there. You should run that in there. Get rid of the gnome. Uh, you should have attacked first as well. Ah well, no. No, that's right. That's a better move. So now he can actually keep his, uh, his taunt. So... <laughs> I need a pretty good drop here, something like a, a legendary to uh, to make a comeback. Uh, whenever another friendly Murloc dies, draw a card. Uh, at least it's a 2-5, it's gonna delay the situation for a little bit. But again, he can, he can get rid of that pretty quickly. I have no time for games. And he can drop 4 mana Sylvanas. That is a problem, of course. <laughs> Because even if I do get a big legendary now, uh, it's going to be taken away from me. Let's see what I get. Uh, recruiter at 
Oh, tulee. We'll do the recruiter. Oh, and it's an inspire mechanic. Okay. So he might be he can kill it with uh yeah with his uh, ability. And one buccaneer I guess. Or does he go for the face? That would actually not getting rid of him now would actually be a mistake, I think. Let's see what he does. A one drop to two squire. Well, that helps for my quest at least. Yeah, he gets rid of him. That's the right move. The Sylvanas is great against anything uh, like mind blowing that I would get. Now, yeah, that's not bad. Thunder bluff. I'll uh, I'll use that. Let's see how he'll react to that. Um, can he? St yeah, he can still kill it though. Just run the Sylvanas in there, same with his weapon. But he'll have to sacrifice the Buccaneer then, unless of course with these cards he, he's bound to still have some solutions. I don't know, you should have run the Sylvanas in there first. Uh, cold blood's a problem. Your magic shall not save you. Okay, he's going for the face. Um I do need a taunt. I don't think I can get through this anymore. Let me see. Oh, with the bloodlust, maybe. So we'll go like this then. We'll drop him as well. So that maybe he gets taken. And now I have to gamble. Let me see what the best move is. Uh, do I kill something first with the 6-6? Six, 6-2... Six, six, Five, so I got 11 not enough uh, obviously I run this in there but I would like to do my attack with this one first which means I kill that one and I kill her hope take something not too deadly uh, that's something a little bit too deadly I get up to nine and then I lose so I should well I'm not sure I, sh I had to hope basically for like the squire to be taken um, and then I may have survived another round or something like that. But okay, we got a little bit done on the quest. Let's uh, choose the Shaman again. Let's see if we can actually win a game with him in this Tavern Brawl. But as you can see, it's extremely random. Um, I had zero legendaries and my one drop was like really bad. While uh, he got to come out with the Sylvanas. And the other cards were not that spectacular for the Rogue. Um, but uh, he made the right choices uh, when it comes to clearing the board. So. Versus Valera. And another rogue. Okay. For Doomhammer. Uh, Spectral Knight is not bad. Deal three damage. Overload one. I'm I'm gonna get rid of the two spells. Uh, these are pretty good cards. That's that's not bad. That is not bad. Let's see if uh, if either one of those become like a one drop or a two drop. That would be <laughs> that would be a pretty good start. All right, so he has something. A burgle. Okay. Okay. Well, with the added. Uh, all right. Uh, that's ooh, oh my god look at that this is my first <laughs> turn <laughs> a 7-5 legendary a 2-1 the second 2-1 and then he becomes a 5-6 um yeah that's that's this our randomness uh, of this brawl i mean he had a burgle that got uh one mana bring some fish? and so this is what he has to do in response that's just uh yeah quite unfortunate even if I don't get a one drop anymore, but I do. So I can go like this. Um, I think it's worth it. Just to extend uh, my early game lead. He needs like fan of knives to deal with this. And it needs to be like one mana so he can... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 
So you need like Fan of Nights 1 mana and then some awesome legendary to counter this. And uh, that's, that's a win with the Shaman. So this is a, a perfect example of how random uh, this Tavern Brawl is. Uh, let's uh, choose the Warlock next, although I don't like his power in this Brawl specifically. Um, you actually want something more useful like, like the Mage that could ping uh, an opponent or something like that. Uh, because drawing for more cards, well we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we can get to an extended game, but you can clearly see that you get the better cards, you, you get a bit of lucky. Uh, of luck early on with the mana curve uh, that just makes up for a lot of it and then yeah it's it's insurmountable Gul'dan versus Uther. I will fight with honor your soul shall be mine so except for the the doom guard this is probably a pretty bad hand I think uh, in this tavern brawl mechanic so I'm actually gonna get rid of all of these and hope for better cards um, yeah, that's that's okay. At least they're minions. I'll be able to play stuff, and let's hope the Doom Guard uh, becomes a one drop. Young Dragon Hawk. Okay, if he's got buffs, then that could become a problem. Um, I'm going to come out with both of these. <laughs> it's time for a little Job blood. Done. There we go. And then hope that one of them turns into a two drop next. That would be okay. Um, I, I did just notice that the overload mechanic for the Shaman is actually a big drawback here as well. Let's see what... Uh, he goes for the face with the Dragon Hawk. Okay, interesting. Uh, and there we go. Usually, I mean, it's not always, but quite often... Um, the, the mana mechanic puts at least one card in range of your mana. Uh, pool, but with the shaman with the overloads you, you can get into trouble a bit more Still this is not so bad, but he could come back with this with, with a good legendary now something that becomes quite problematic Enrage plus three so he's where mm. he's at okay uh, Killing that would probably bring out the doom guards so that would not be bad either But he oh he feels he has to uh, deal with the Amani Berserker, so is there gonna be like a spell? Come forth, ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Double legendary drop. Yeah, that's uh, not bad. I do get the Skeleton Knight. Reveal a medium eat, cost more, return this to your hand. So that's interesting. Um, when a friendly minion dies while well, this is in your hand, gain one attack and change all enemy minions' attack to one. Okay, can I get rid of any of them? So many no. Uh, can I kill? get him killed? No. With this I can do 2 damage, uh, which is again not enough. What is my best move here? Just straight up play the Doom Guard? He's a 6-8 that needs to be dealt with. Then go for the face, mm. I think, or Grim Patron. If that kills, it summon a random demon. So no, it's 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 my only choice here. Is uh, to play the Doom Guards. If he didn't have that redu reduced here, I could have killed that even with the Bane of Doom, and uh, we would have been in a much better situation. But double legendary drop. That's uh, pretty powerful, of course. Let's see if RNG Jesus keeps blessing this Paladin. I mean, uh, with 4 mana, still has plenty of cards left as well. I think I could be in real trouble after this. Ice Rager is pretty useless. And extra attack. Okay. Alright. All right. Okay. So that means I can at least kill uh, one of them. And, ooh, I get a Siphon Soul for free. Uh, for one mana. It's not for free, but it's for one mana. So I can Bane of Doom, Siphon, Soul. Alright, this is good. Um, and we'll see who we get here. That's quite okay. We'll Siphon, Soul him. And uh, we'll take advantage of the one 
damage right there to try to get back in the game. Okay, very lucky Siphon Soul here. Let's see what he still has. And then Skeleton King could be good. 5-5 five, five Dragon. That's definitely not bad. And a 3-3 three, three Pirate. Okay. He should kill that, I think. But he doesn't. Um, so the it's actually the 3-3 three, three that's a problem. Or do I just straight up go for the Skeleton King? Um, let me see think here for a moment I actually think it's hmm. if I kill the 3-3 tree tree, normally he can't get past the taunt and then I could uh, use the green patron on that uh, it's it's gonna be better to come out with uh, this I think and uh, who else can still I'm, I'm just gonna clear the board what the hell? I have board presence. Uh, cards are pretty much equal. I'm I'm just gonna go for for the board clear here. Might have been a mistake if he still has like a big legendary drop now. That's somewhat okay. I think another Adri the Pure. That healing I can live with that. Uh, so that one does need to die. Do I have any? Destroy all minions. Hmm. That is not so good. So I'll just I'll gamble this. Come back to me, Skeleton King, and he doesn't. So I'll I'll draw a card here. Uh, that's not good for me either. We'll go like this, and I will clear. This pretty much means that he can't really use his uh, reinforce at this point. Let's hope he doesn't What's have to. Oh Nether? my god, not too good the cards. Luckily, I, I mean, I have Twisting Nether. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's not really good. Oh, I, uh, that's uh, not bad either. Uh, let's also dig here. Deal two damage. If it's uh, friendly. Okay. So we're gonna copy that. And we're going to... Get rid of him? I could get rid of him. It would be a bit of a waste for the green patron. But I don't have a charge. Uh, so yeah. We'll, we'll get rid of him. What the hell? Let's just go for that. Uh, this is about as lucky as you can get, I think. Uh, in in both the copy uh, for Tyrion Fordring and that uh, that Siphon Soul one mana Siphon Soul early on. So uh, okay, change attack to one. All right. So surprisingly enough, uh, the game is lasting a longer time here. But I'll get that as weapon as well. That's more of a problem. I could I could twisting Nether here, destroy a random minion for each player. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Uh, do I draw? Let me see. I can either kill everything, I wonder. and then I get. But uh, it's probably better to gamble this. Oh, yeah, and it's on an inspire, so that should kill him. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope it kills this one, but it doesn't really matter that much. It does. So now I get my weapon, and I can kill that. And we're back with uh, board presence, uh, card advantage, just got a silence, that's not so bad. Uh, but it is starting to be, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get quite low compared to the Paladin. So he clears of course, makes sense. Reporting for duty. I'm not gonna waste a weapon charge on that. And stealth and divine shield, alright I'll take you. Uh, 
that's really not so bad. And we'll actually go with five to the face here. Try and make up some of the of the lost ground. Whenever this minion deals damage, restore that much health to the hero. So that could be decently good. And I still have... Yeah, there we go. Uh, I could silence that and kill it. That's probably better. I mean, it's a bit of damage to take, but... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. I am getting low. And I get a bolt as well. That's interesting. Um, so I don't even have to take the damage to kill him now. So we'll go like this. And we'll fire a bolt. We'll kill that. We'll take that. And get him down to 14, 12. I do have the board presence and I still have a little bit of control with uh, Twisting Nether. This is the longest game I've seen in this tavern brawl because they usually don't last that long. It's too bad that I got Jeeves here, not something better for four. That would have been quite different, I think, for the game, but... This is extremely random, as you can tell. Let me think. So if you drop something really big again, I could just go for the face first and Twisting Nether if I have to. But it goes... Yeah. That's decently limited in scope here. Uh, do I get something? Return a friendly minion to the... Oh, that's not bad. Uh, so we'll go like <laughs> this. Ah, but then I, I lose him. So is it better to go for the face? Use the Twisting Nether. I need to dig first to see... Oh, hmm. okay. Can't combine that with Jeeves. Uh, he's got three. God, this is not easy. <laughs> I actually think we'll uh, just uh, do this. And then I'll just uh, play the Brewmaster. And then play this one. Yeah, okay. I got Deadly on the field if he can't kill the Brewmaster right off. So, this is my gamble. He needs to kill something. He needs like 4 damage or... Reporting for duty. Destroy all minis except each player's high Yeah, alright. He had the perfect card here again. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll dig. Um, I've been digging so deeply. That's pretty annoying. But this is not bad. But I'm down to 6. So he could still come back at me with... Uh, yeah, just basically like a good weapon or something. That needs to die. That's only for one card. As you can see, I've played way more cards than him. Come on, get me like a legendary. <laughs> what a game. Return. Inspire, return this minion to your hand. What the hell is the use of that? Uh, now I can't really dig anymore. I'm even in range of true silver champion now, so yeah. Okay, you only rest. Yeah, you should have just gone for the face. Should have just gone for the face with that. Not on my. And now comes the divine shield. All right. Oh my goodness. So unless uh, I can't turn this around anymore uh, at the end of each player's turn. So let's dig. Deal 5 damage to a minion. If it's friendly demon, give it 5-5. Five, five, but that's not enough. No, that's not enough. Uh, so I guess I can play these guys. Do that and uh, let him kill me. 
Or do I do I draw myself to death? It's pretty close. Yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. So I still had Fizzle Bang. Cards you draw from your hero power cost zero. If I had that one early on, that would have been quite different. But uh, there you go. Incredibly long game. Uh, I used 28. I got 28 cards. Uh, drawn in in this tavern brawl that's pretty damn unusual let's try another one here with the warlock and let's see if we can uh, actually win a game with this uh, but that was that was an interesting game and i was lucky twice and i was unlucky a few times as well i think this one definitely showcases how random this uh, tavern brawl is i did get to 500 gold but i'll try with at least one more game to finish the quests and then uh, i'll take a look at uh, some car packs if I would win I would also be right on the curve of the randomness so you should win 50% of the games um, in this in this type of brawl so let's take a look Gul'dan versus Gerash. a warrior Victory on death. your soul shall be mine okay I, I do like Im Gangboss I like uh, Gelpin McTorque and Spider Tank is not bad either. Let's see if either of them, if any of them, I, I would expect one of these two though. Uh, that would be a little bit unfair to have that one as a one drop. Uh, but if either one of these becomes one, that's definitely a, a pretty strong start already. And the legendary in hand is pretty good too. So let's see if Ezrex. Doesn't take too much time. Ah, he came alive. All right. He came back to his chair. Now. Full hand switch. Okay. And we can come out with, uh, with this one. Not bad. Not bad. And this is a 3-5 restore 4 health to each hero. Uh, at least, it, at least it's, uh, it's, it's like a 50-50. Uh, thing so if I could drop this at two I think I should unless it's it's Galbin that gets two drop My be oh that's uh, I summon a one one him that's not really enough uh, but I've got a good risk bonds now so yeah we'll just come out with all of them and go for the face. I mean, that means I got to get a 3-5 out without um, having to lose on the heal. If I take advantage, which I think is pretty important here. And then a spider tank. Uh, so we, we should be able to kill this one regardless of what he decides to. Unless he's got something like a, a whirlwind. Um, that's only one or two mana. That would pump up his frothing berserker. But he needs the right cards to make this card work. So again, it's it's gonna be pretty random. And this is not bad. <laughs> I could kill him with North Sea Kraken if he becomes a tree drop. Let's see what he decides to do here. I wonder. Coin? Okay. Can take the hit. Gain five armor and then he goes for the face. That's uh, interesting. Uh, he doesn't become uh, deal two damage to all non demon minions. So he'll take two. So would she. So I could do it like this, I guess. Yeah, I think this is. Uh, the way to go and I will go like this and I, I have board presence I killed that that berserker which is pretty uh, annoying and I killed the 5-5 five five as well I think this is an okay trait uh, Gelbin would have been good as well but let's see if I can stay on top of the board with this Inspire gain wind fury this turn only so okay Interesting choice I could just kill that with Kraken if he becomes a four drop come on become a four drop It's 
Yeah, no. Ah, that's too bad. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just gonna go Malganis. Uh, yeah. He even pumps up my two demons here. And, uh... Okay, 9-7 on the board. And I don't think... Well, it depends on, on the mana change, but... <laughs> oh my god, my wins are so overwhelming. <sighs> and there you go, that was Randomonium. Um, indeed, the double random... Uh, of this uh, tavern brawl makes it easy but as you can see it's probably 50 50 across the games because sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't anyways let's go for those card packs at 31 minutes i'm gonna try to remember that one two three four and five and i will open everything up let's see what we got first from the tavern brawl itself dust dust rare uh, dust, yeah, all of this is dust, but okay, two six drops, that's quite decent in the amount of dust here. Uh, dust, uh, rare, let's see, yeah, polymorph is dust, she's dust, spell slinger, ooh, second Muklas champion. That's not bad, because I do like Muklas champion, but I only had one. Um, okay, okay, that's actually, I like this one, because if you do have that board presence, um, there is something to do with him, actually, I think. So I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, that's Dust. Dust, I... Th no, whoa. Two tournament medics, which I used to... Uh, I only had one for a very long time, and now I have four of them. But okay. Uh, Silver Hand Regent. I think that could be a second, actually, so I'm already okay with this one. Knights of the Wild, whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. Really? I don't have that yet, and uh, it's um, quite okay. There's something to do with like a beast druid uh, with this one. So interesting. Got some new cards already. Pretty good Golden stuff. Common. Golden common. Rogue combo deal one damage. Under city valiant. Well, it could be a lot of gold if I have the two other ones already. That's dust. Rare. That's dust by now. Rare. That's gonna be dust. And so is this one. Next one, we've got Flash Heal, Restore 5 Health. I think that's a second, but I'm not sure. Bash is Dust, this is Dust, that is Dust. And an Epic Dark Bargain, destroy two random enemy minions, discard two cards. I think that's just my second bargain in two weeks' time. Uh, so, it just fills the deck. Honestly, every, every one of these has been filling up uh, deck slots. Considering I'm free to play, I'm pretty happy with this. And that's uh, even more golden stuff. Savage Combatant could be a second, so not bad either. And Flame Lance is dust, dust, and dust. Okay, so unfortunately no legendaries, but considering the cards that I had there, I'm definitely not going to complain. And uh, let's just uh, do the dust here. Another 150, which puts me just 80 dust away from... Um, from another legendary so it's going pretty well i do still enjoy and play uh hearthstone every day but as i've said fully free to play and this is about as far as uh, as i've been able to get with it just doing the daily quests and uh, yeah playing the tavern brawl of course which this week has been pretty fun thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time